Hello guys, my name is Dennis Jensen and uh, this is a video for polyface.com um, I'm sorry that my picture is lagging a bit, it's because there's a little bit of bad lighting going on in here but I hope you can live with it This tutorial is going to be some quick, quick tips about modeling and um, it's basically going to show you how you can uh, um, be more efficient when you model it's going to show you how you can model a lot faster so the first thing that I would recommend is that you're using a tablet instead of a mouse because you can move it a lot faster and you can uh, quickly use the mouse buttons on the, t on the pen uh, I normally do that and it's, it uh, spares your wrist a lot so you won't get uh, wrist injuries uh, so easily with that said I, uh, I'm going to jump into Maya but of course uh, it's uh, going to be a little bit of a short movie and I hope I can do this uh, a couple of times during a week so normally this is a plane nothing special about it what uh, if you were going to model you would probably go up to mesh oh sorry edit mesh insert edge loop and then you're going to insert the edge loops but you can see this is uh, okay but the amount of time it takes to go up to mesh or edit mesh and insert edge loop find the right thing it takes a few seconds and if you're doing that a lot throughout the day in the end it will really become a lot of time that you use on this spe uh, special thing so instead you should be using marking menus and marking menus are a fantastic thing in Maya they recently, in the new uh, version of Mudbox 2012 they added in marking uh, menus as well so I'm so excited about that, it's gonna make my life so much easier so anyway, if you want to uh, insert an edge loop I will hold down uh, <laughs> let me see so yes of course so you hold down shift and right click and you can see insert edge loop and you can just place it and then you can keep placing stuff so let's say that I want to merge something you just right click, go into vertex mode select 2 tada it's very fast and it goes really quick compared to going up here merge so that's one thing that I wanted to show and uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do you can use shift and control and you can also use oh <laughs> sorry that's it um, that was one thing so now I'm going to show some of the tools that I use when modeling that's going to make your life easier I hope so oops so let's say that we have a character and he's probably in a v-pose so this could be an arm, I know it's a very beautiful mess <laughs> uh, but imagine that this is an arm that he has down on the sides but I realized that one of these edge loops let me select one is in the wrong place so I want to move it up and that doesn't really help me in any way so what can I do? The orientation is weird because I rotated the arm and if you hold down yes, if you hold down shift again and right click you will get some different tools compared to what you have selected and now I have edges selected so this means that I get this slight edge tool and if you uh, select that you can see drag with the MM button, middle mouse button to slide so if you use the middle mouse button you can now slide it on the mesh which is pretty awesome when you're working with this stuff there are also some other ways you can do it so let's say if I go to if you hold down control and right click you can go to vertices and then select the vertices instead and if you then hold down shift right click you can go to vertex normals and here you can uh, let me see oh sorry that was the wrong one well the thing, the thing that I wanted to show was oh yeah here it is if you hold control and shift down you can um, 
choose which axis you want to uh, rotate your object around. So you can try to uh, use these for um, for seeing what works the best. So you can use average, normal, or normal average, and you can see that didn't really change change that much. But if you go to axis, maybe we can find something along the x-axis. Nah. Well, this is something you will have to uh, face center. Hmm. This is something you will have to uh, see if you can get to work, but sometimes it works really well. Okay, let's just for the sake of uh, showing this, if I select the face, you can see that now I can move it along this face instead. So that's pretty neat, in compared to if I used uh, world, sorry, world node, you can see that it's not aligned to the normal. Um, and that's pretty handy, I think, if you want to move a face along, of the, if you still want the right side. So another trick that I would like to show is, let's say that you have a beautiful mess. <laughs> and you want the arm to come out of this. Let's say it's the side of an alligator. So you have your base mesh, but you want a hole for the arm. So let me just delete these faces. And now you would like to make this hole round. So normally a lot of people are doing this. Trying to move all the vertices in the right spots and make it round. The problem is this takes a lot of time and it's very hard to get it really round. So what I would like to show you is if you select all of these, you can by uh, holding down shift, right click, use average vertices. And let me show you what that does. And if you press G to continue, you can see that it makes it round. And that's really a cool thing. So you don't have to spend that much time. You can also do it in your mess if you have some vertices that looks in a funny way or something like that. You can do it this way. So I will really uh, recommend using that. And um, that was basically it for this tutorial. It's a quick one with some uh, quick tips. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have some tips as well, please uh, write a comment below and share the tips because then we can all learn from it. So with that said, uh, you can subscribe or you can make a user on the site. The comments, uh, I read most of the comments on the site, I don't use YouTube that much. So I hope you will do <laughs> post a comment on Polyface. So see you next time and have fun. Cheers guys.